Yo, what's up everybody? You know, the other day I came across a quote that got me thinking. Uh, it's a quote by uh, Ralph Waldo Emerson. Almost screwed that up. Ralph Waldo Emerson. And it's treat a man as he is and he will remain as he is. Treat a man as he could be and he will become what he should be. And that somehow got me thinking about solution-focused brief therapy because that really is the underpinning, the underlying message of the solution-focused approach. People often ask me, like, how do you ask challenging questions to these clients? But the questions we ask are designed to be answered by the person they could be. And our questions drive the client to move forward. So I'm not really asking questions to challenge or invoke or, or any of that. My questions are to help the client strive forward. Uh, recently, I was talking to a person who was struggling with drug abuse. So I'm asking that person questions about sobriety, about being clean and healthy, because I know they could be, thus that's who they should be. And just the very fact that I'm asking them questions about it communicates to them that I believe they can do it. It communicates to them that I believe they're capable of that change. And as I always say, if you don't believe in your client's ability to change, you shouldn't be seeing that client. We owe our clients optimism that they have the capacity to change, regardless of how potent the problem is in their life and regardless of how long they've been dealing with that problem. We have to believe in our client's ability to change because the moment we stop believing their ability to change, we become less effective as their counselor. We become less effective as their change agent. So never forget, to treat a person as they could be so you can watch them soar.